Hey everyone, I'm Lizard Jam, and welcome to day eight of the 13 days of Halloween. So, tonight we're going to be taking a look at Black Book. Uh, this is by Morteshka, and it is a strategy RPG adventure with like deck building elements to it, and it's based around Russian folklore and mythology. So, I don't know, just, it's got a creepy vibe to it. I'm not sure how spooky or anything it's actually going to be, but it's got that whole Halloween, um, I don't know, just supernatural feel to it. So, I want to check it out. I want to see how it goes. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into it and see how it is. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven, or on earth, or under the earth, could open the scroll, or even look inside. Book of Revelations, chapter 5, verses 1 through 3. Uh, difficulty, okay. Oh, Lord. Apprentice, Natka, Kodonia Balance for the first playthrough yeah, Nightmare, uh, no I'll go ahead and do Snakta Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here And in a sense, they still do hmm. I will tell you a story It happened long ago Even before the revolution It happened here, not far from Cherdin I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. Hmm. I can't okay. recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Oh. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Yibor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. Make a deal with the devil. Okay. Interesting. She's got a love story behind it. Trying to rescue her lover from hell. Game developed by Morteshka. I'm probably pronouncing all this wrong, but I try. <laughs> Sheridan, 1879. I like the graphics. Simple, but I like it. I slept poorly last night. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where are you headed? Relatives and from the warm summer departed. <laughs> There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. The cold mother earth. There isn't even a church or fence to hold on to. Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Oh, Lord. Sleep for now. Sleep. I really don't think this is going to end well. I won't be long.
Need to go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. I can just turn the candles on and off. Nice. Nope, nope, wrong one. Went the grave. Yeah, they didn't bury him a holy ground because he took his own life. Hey, there's an herb. Adam's head. Kills minor wounds, a useful thing to have on any journey. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Let's go to the crossroads. Because you know nothing bad's going to happen in this little creepy pathway, it looks like. Prologue, Initiation of a Witch. Hmm. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Where have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there, by that milepost. Everything you need for the ritual you'll find over there. Take the candles, we'll light them and draw a circle. Okay. Get the candles. Old and enchanted candles from old Igor's hut. With their help, you can draw a circle that can offer protection against evil spirits. There's another herb. More Adam's head. More healing. That's good. Don't know what I think about all those eyes I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and see what we can grab first. The more healing, the better, probably. I've already read the mile post. Well done, Vasilisa. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise, we'll be crushed by evil spirits. It's not good. made a circle. Is it alright, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps. Good. Too late to dither now. Think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well... Take it. Ritual dagger? No, the book. Okay. It's the black book. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. Yeah, I'll read the spell. I'll get up without crossing myself. But I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Oh. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Zagavar. Zagavar. First battle. Okay. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you always get to go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. 
is the black book. It contains all your Zagavos. Try using the word Urzi. Press the end button to recite your Zagava. So it's a damage spell. The pages you had previously, your previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. Interesting. So that's like your deck of cards. Enemy attacks can be blocked with defense. A defensive shield you from dangers but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page Avdalai, which has the effect of defense. Gives me five. Okay, cool. What does that do? I get to look at it. Okay. You can't touch me. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. May combine, combine several pages into a Zagavar. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slots at the top of the screen. A Zagavar consists of orders and keys. Currently you recite a Zagavar consisting of two orders and one key. See the type on the page in the upper corner? Okay. So I got attack, defense, and what's the key? Is defense. So actually, let's just do two attack and one of the keys. I like it. Good job, Vasha. This demon is nearly beaten. A couple more spells to read the world of it. Black Book helps you predict your enemy's actions. Study the enemy intent carefully to upset their plans. Okay, he's gonna bite me for one. Okay, so I can actually attack, shield, and just attack, honestly. He's dead. It is dead. There we go. Demon defeated. Oh. Oh, what is that? Take that, you monkey, hellhound! Well, now, Vasha, answer this small. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. I have to go to hell to become a witch? Well, safe travels. Oh, no. Just safe travels. I'm going to hell, good sir. I don't know how safe this is going to be. Oh, that's probably not good. Is there anything else here except Black Rift? What are you? You, silly son. I should congratulate you, for the first seal is open. Only six remain. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Who are you? What sort of devil are you? How rude, Vasilis. I'm your chief. Advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldu. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Okay. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed. As legend dictates, who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it. Yet, 
So am I going to save my beloved or end the world? That's not good. How do I open the seals? Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. Let me return to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? As many as possible, or... I don't know. Surely I will only need one at most. We do not assign fewer than three imps, Vasilisa. Okay. I'll pick out the best among Yegor's old imps for you. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seals. Interesting. So what do the imps do? Black book. That's a good little prologue. So what to do next? The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. So do I have to hunt them down? Maybe and there's something them? in the books. You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. Yeah, but she didn't want to become one. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Susetkis who told the heads of the families. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now. Not many teeth left. <laughs> My Kuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you bookbinding? Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Sure. I got it, Grandpa. Time to get to work. Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. God bless. What's up with 40 days? Okay, so God he has bless, a problem. God bless, Vlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night. When suddenly we heard some strange sounds, and a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. 
Hmm. What could be behind such emanations? Peasant spirits and fiends will all seek your advice and help affairs of witchery. After all, you are a knower. If you answer a knowledgeability question correctly, you will receive an experience reward. Teeth? Sometimes your answers will influence in-game events. To recognize the correct answer, you'll have to carefully study your surroundings and the onomastion, which can open at any moment from your menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button, however, you will only get half experience. Uh, let's see here. How do I get back to... Oh, I don't get back to it. Here it is. Uh, let's see here. So it does look like spirits. Why do you work at night? Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cuff it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be yeah. of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's coming on with you, Chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some Chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, Take this herb. It is called an Adam's head. It will heal you up if anything goes yep. sideways. Already got a couple of those Time too. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Want to ask anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Got it, grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent the chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. Side quests. You're now on the travel map. Every night it will display different locations. You may go on your way only after you speak to all your visitors. You can visit any available location. However, your health recovers only after you complete the task and return to the Izba. Your goal is to visit the main task location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game auto saves each time the location changes, and you can also save your progress manually. You can also open the map by clicking on your present location. Okay. We wish you the best of luck exploring the northern lands of Cheridan. Okay, this is the side quest. So let's go ahead and go to this mansion here. Not far from Komgort, a rich peasant named Moglevsky built his mansion. Let's do it. Let's see how this goes. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least, you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice calling out from one of the windows overhanging the street. Flush wait! I have business with you. Hush, but better whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. Uh. So curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So I can curse her his neighbor. I can decline it completely, or I can curse him instead for being a dick. Huh. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to be the bad guy. You're not that kind of witch. Just so you know, I don't just go firing off curses left and right. <laughs> okay. Let's go settle this curse that 
may have happened in this village here. And then we'll go to the mill. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. <coughs> it's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside their house. Falling cutlery, furniture, moving around. <coughs> I love how it's fully voice acted. So, and, not, and so far it hasn't been that bad either. So, that's a good thing. That's awesome. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Hmm. Tea time turned into a chort invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Let's see. Let's see. Becoming one of those terrifying experience. Peasant suffering misfortune after forgetting to cross himself is perceived as being punished for not observing a ritual. This has resulted in all sorts of popular beliefs. Dishes not locked away at tight or crossed become a refuge for evil spirits. A sick child or a changeling needs to be thrown across the threshold of a house inhabited by spirits who were lured there by killing a rooster during its construction. After some time, the underlying reason for a ritual becomes forgotten, leaving behind only by the ritual itself. Mm. And did you make the sign of the cross over the samovar? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar. There we with go. The cross. Cool. You must do this, and please remember next time. You are such a great nover, Vasya. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. Yeah, I'll oh, help. Very well. I will help you. It's no good sleeping on the street, is it? Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for your journey. Well, you thank come you. come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their way here. You make the sign of the cross and take a couple of careful steps deeper inside. The demons have made a mess. They threw the dishes and cooking pots around, but luckily the brass utensils seem to be intact. The most damaged part is the shrine in the corner. The icon cases are damaged, and the candles are broken. Let's approach it. You approach the overturned samovar. Suddenly, it shakes and starts to move, and red eyes light up the darkened room. A demon is here. Bring it on, demon. Interesting, okay. So we got two guys here. Ooh, 13, 14, 4 damage, 5. Oh, Lord. What is blessed to? Increases attack for each page for 2. Okay. Attack him. That's a key. Let's do shield and more attack. Okay, they can't touch me. That's good. Now, do they keep the shield? Ah, oh, they do keep shield. Crap. He attacks for five, too. Let's see. Status effect. Okay. Cool. Shield for five and... Let's do some more shield. Why not?
That's like a poison, looks like. You still can't touch me. That's good. Cool. So far, so good. And he'll be dead by the time I finish, so... What do I need? Attack him. Bless it. And more shield. Perfect. I got five shield. Yeah, it's dead next turn. We're good. Put waste on that thing if I wanted to. Well, it's only got four. Do that. 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 This should work. Should be able to win this one, hopefully. No, one more turn. I'm gonna try to play it safe. Okay, that one's defeated. You still can't touch me. Is your shield gone? Your shield's gone. You're dead. Dang it. I only have waste. Let's take that one back. Okay. So it's not dead yet, but I'm safe still. Oh, it did die. Sweet. Page remains active for one turn and affects other pages. Increases shield for three turns at the beginning of each round. Nice. That's not bad either, though. But I like the key. I like that one. The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God for bringing you here. The girl, Axenia assures you that from now on every jar in the house will be crossed there we go sweet so this is black book i think i'm gonna stop it there i like it it's a card battler and it's got some really cool folklore to it i like the style i like that it's fully voice acted for most parts so that's awesome so good game it's really cool, and it does fit with the Halloween theme. So if you're looking for something supernatural, there's a good one to go for. So, perfect. I liked it a lot. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see what other um, scary, spooky games we're going to play. So, thanks for watching.